was like, man, this is how cool. What's up, dude? What's up, man? How you doing? What's up? I'm good. How are you? Good. Family coming in and all? Uh, yeah. Got some family coming in. Mom, huh? dad. Really? Brother and shit. How would you kind of, you know, your season's almost over. You know, like, yeah. one way or the other makes sense. How would you break down how this has gone? What this has looked like for you? How that you've kind of made it for us? Uh, I think it's been a great learning experience. Uh, just understanding the game. You know, it was my first time, first NFL season, first time in the league. So learning and understanding the game, I think it's been great for me. And I think each game has been, uh, uh, for me, I've got. I feel like I've gotten better and better on understanding the defense and understanding what's going on. So I think it's been great. It's been a great learning experience, and I'm excited for what's to come ahead. I think just, just like for myself is on you know, practice and especially in the game is like the little details and like my footwork and hands. I've realized like the more I do it, the more it just comes naturally. And so, you know, that's why I try to come out here early and do my footwork every day so that when I come out here and when I do it in the game, it just comes naturally. I don't have to think about it because the less I'm thinking, the better I play, the better I just go out there and play. So that's how my thought process and I think I've been really better at is just like going out there and playing and not thinking as much as I did when week one, week two, week three came. When did that start? When did you actually feel that? Uh, the more reps you get, the more you get the time to go out there and play. The more reps you get in practice, the more reps you get in the game, the, the more you, you, you're used to it, the more you get to play faster, the confidence goes up and you learn a lot more. Was there a game? Was there a, uh, I don't, like a week? Or, or a I don't want to say a like? week because this is this is not like a one day and it just happened. Yeah. It was throughout uh, – you know, a couple times throughout the season where I was just working on it, working on it, working on it. And it's an everyday thing. It's not like I'm mastered it yet. I'm still trying to get better on it. So, like I said, it just happens over the, the whole NFL season, and I'm continuing to keep doing it now so that I can get better uh, ahead. So. Is, there, is, there, is there a guy, like whether it was Coke or whether it was Beans or someone that I don't know that, that really has kind of helped you throughout all of this? And, and figure, because Brandon and Steven probably understand your situation. You know, yeah. Late round or undrafted guy more than, than like Fowler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fowler got a lot of money right away. Right. No, I think uh, definitely, I think all three of them has helped tremendously. I mean, those guys go out there and they give 100 uh, on the field. That's number one. And number two, they I think they're all smart and they understand the game. Like Cope, he's been around a lot of systems, so he understands different systems and actually knows what's going on. He plays multiple positions, so he's not just giving to me the look from the outside linebacker, but he's also talking from a middle linebacker experience because he's played that. You know, same thing with Steve. Steve has played all across the D line, so he understands what's going on inside and out. So I think you get a lot of different perspectives of the game, and I'm learning a lot more, not just in my position, but about a lot of other positions, which is great to understand because I feel like in the position that we play, you not just have to learn about what you do, but everybody else does too. What do you think, I mean, when you look at it, you know, obviously you're not looking so far to next year. Yeah. Yet, but when you look at where you can make the most improvement for next year, where do you think that is at? Yeah, I think I could work on a lot of things. In the run game, definitely still working on my hands and trying to shut off blocks. I think in a pass game, obviously pass rush. I mean, you can always work on your pass rush. For, for me, it's just... I feel like using my hands a lot better, you know, uh, really getting up the field on, on the pass rush and getting better with that. And those those things, obviously, you're trying to get better on the field, but it's, it's, for me, it's just continuing to learn and continuing to get better on those things and hone on on the skills that I have right now, you know. So when we're back at things like in October, when we saw him in his tent, he was saying, he mentioned that you might be one day like the bell cow of your position, of kind of the edge rush down the yeah. Have you started to feel like that? Like that could be you one day. That that's a possibility. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I've thought about it. I mean, I've, uh, the coaches have said it, but right now I'm just focused on right now. Right. You know, because I can't, I can't think about all of that and sure. not focus on right now. You know, I think the biggest thing I love when Coach said is uh, your past performance doesn't matter. It's about the present performance that matters the most. And I think that's the thing that I'm worried about is the next opponent against Detroit Lions. You know, all that down the road. It will set itself up, you know, results will happen. But right now, I'm just focused on the line. So he said that to you before? 
Who? Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. When, when you hear that, it's like, yeah, what date or what you look for? Like, are you just like, <laughs> oh, you talking about the bell cow thing? Yeah, no, no, no. He just said all that. Oh, okay. I, he just tell me to, to focus on the present. Oh, okay. Yeah, that I, that I stuff. Nah, he never said that. Nah. Road, you know? like, I nah. Sure I mean, like I said, I'm just focused on the right now. I haven't even thought about all that. I haven't gotten up to my attention. Just focus on the right now. Family? Yeah, like this is like sort of a. Yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot of like high school buddies. You know? A lot of family members, you know. I'm from Michigan. I'm a big Detroit Lions fan, so I love. Uh, I was a big Detroit Lions fan, so <laughs> just you know, seeing them and now I get to play against them is pretty cool. So. Yeah, I had to. Yeah. Uh, I think my probably my biggest moment is you know Calvin Johnson when he broke the record, obviously. You know, I always loved watching them. Our family would come together and watch them on Thanksgiving Day, and they played on Thanksgiving Day all the time. So it was just—it was one of those traditions. We're just seeing them. It, it, it worked out pretty good. So.